In the previous videos, we've set up a workbook with a macro that will send an error message to the users if they forgot to select a customer name in this order form. So if I try and click print now, a message pops up with a big red X, select a customer name, I click OK, and then I'd have to go back and fill in this customer name before I can print. But there may be times when you want to let your users print anyway. Yes, you want to warn them they forgot the customer name, but give them the option to print anyway. So we're going to modify the macro that we created to give them that option. On the Developer tab, I'm going to click Visual Basic, and here's our Order Form Workbook, and I'm going to double-click this workbook, and here's the procedure that we created in the workbook before print module. So it checks the sheet that we're on, looks at cell B5 to see if it's empty, and if it is, we get the warning and the printing is cancelled. So we're going to change this to show the question first. So here the message says select a customer name, and we'll just change that to print without customer name, and it's a question, so we'll just add a question mark at the end. And right now it's showing a red X because we have VB critical. I'm going to delete from the comma to the end. Then I'll type the comma again, and by doing that it's just going to show this drop-down list. We want yes, no button, so I'm going right to the end of this list and click VB, yes, no. If I double click on it, it goes into that line of code. So the message box will now ask the question and show the two buttons. So just to see what it's doing now, I'm going back to Excel and I'll click the print button. And so there's our question and the two buttons. The yes button is highlighted with a thicker border. So if I press the enter key or click the yes button, we're saying yes, we want to print without that customer name. So now we'll go back into Visual Basic so we have our buttons, but now we have to tell Excel how to treat those buttons. So I'm clicking at the end of the first line in this procedure and press enter to create a new row. And I'm going to create a variable that will capture whether the user has clicked yes or no. If they click yes, that button sends the number six back to Excel. So we want to test and see if they've clicked yes. So I'm going to type the name of the variable, so dim l r s p. So we're trying to capture the response and it's a number, so I'll use the long data type. Okay, we're going to then change this message box line. So I'll click in front of message box and type LRSP equals. So we want this number for this variable we created to be picking up the button that we clicked on our message box. I'm going to click after message box and put an open bracket and then a close bracket at the end. So the number in this variable will be equal to whichever button we click, yes or no. So click at the end here and type if LRSP is not equal to 6, then. So if they click 6, that was yes. So we're checking here to see if it was not equal to 6, which means they clicked no. So if it wasn't equal to 6, then, okay, we'll go ahead and cancel, and end if. So if they did not click 6, we're going to cancel. And if they did click 6, it's not going to go through this line of code, so it won't cancel the printing. So we'll just test 
back in Excel now. So if I click the print button, print without a customer name, I click no and it doesn't print. It's canceled the printing. So that's working the way we expect. And the last little thing we'll do here is change the default button. So I've clicked after the VB yes, no, and I'll type a plus sign. That opens up our drop downs again, and I'm going to make the default button the second button so that the no button will be the default. So now if we look at our macro again, now the no button is highlighted. It's, so if someone just quickly reads that message and hits the enter key, it's going to default to no. So we're going to have maybe some uh, less wasted paper because it's not automatically going to print. Even if they don't read this, the default is no, so it'll cancel the printing.